In this brief tutorial, we'll show you how to take a quiz that you have created in a Word document and then import that quiz into Moodle as a question bank. Now, the Word import into Moodle only works for multiple choice and true-false questions. Um, but you can create a bank easily with those types of questions and then add other questions into your quiz. So it might save you a little bit of time that way. So begin with your Word document and your quiz questions need to be formatted this way for multiple choice. The number of the question, in this case number one, the question, and then A, B, C, D, you can have as many answers as you want, E, F, G, and your various answer choices. And then underneath that question, in all caps, answer, and the letter of the correct answer for that question. Now for true-false questions, you'll follow the same format for the questions, a number and the statement, and then um, all cap the letter A and B with the parentheses, true or false, and then again the all cap with the letter of the correct answer for the true-false question. So once you have all of your questions typed for your quiz, you're going to save it as a plain text document. So when you choose Save As from your File menu in Word, you can choose the file format that you want to save the document in. In this case, we're going to choose Plain Text, and we're going to choose Save, and that's going to bring up the File Conversion menu. In this case, we don't want Mac OS Default or MS-DOS, we want Other Encoding, and we want to choose Unicode UTF-8 and then choose OK. So now that you have your plain text Unicode version of the Word document with your questions, come to your Moodle course and locate the administration panel for your Moodle course. That will be in the left nav bar at the very bottom, the administration pane for course administration. Ex make sure that menu is expanded and locate the question bank menu should be right here. Expand that and choose Import. And as you can see, this is a menu for importing questions from file. For the file format, you need to choose the Aiken format. And then just come down to Import and choose your plain text file that you just created. And you'll have to give it a name. Um, import question bank test and choose upload this file and then just perform the import. It will list the name of your questions as you've typed them in and if you're happy with that click continue. So once you've done that those questions will display in the question bank list for your course. If there are existing questions in your course that are associated with other quizzes, they will also display here, but you can turn those off by simply unchecking the Also Show Old Questions option. So if I do that, then I'm just going to see the questions that I've just imported. So now I want to come back to my course, and I can create a quiz and add these questions. So I'll do that here. Add an activity or resource. I'm going to choose Quiz. I'm going to choose Add. I'm going to give it the same name. And for the sake of this tutorial, I won't add a grade. I'll just go ahead and save and return to course. And my quiz is displayed there. So I'm going to choose Edit Settings. And then once I choose that, I am in the Quiz Administration. So if I come down to my administration panel, you'll see I no longer am in the course administration. I am in the administration settings for the quiz. I can edit settings for the quiz, and this would be the grade, how it displays if I have a timing limitation. But in this case, I want to edit the actual quiz itself. So I'm going to choose that. So this is where I can add the questions that I've just imported. I can also change the maximum grade for the quiz here if I'd like to do that. But to add the questions, I'm going to choose the Add menu here. And I don't want to add a new question. I want to actually add questions from a question bank. So I'm going to choose that option. And here are the new questions. Again, if I had this checked, it would display all of the questions for my course. And I don't want that because I want the new questions. In this case, there are the questions that I've just imported. I'm going to select all of them. 
and I'm going to choose Add Selected Questions to the Quiz. And there they are. And so at this point, I can, um, I can change the point totals for each question, or I can change the maximum grade for the entire quiz. Um, I can make other changes, but once I click Save, those questions will be added to that quiz. One thing you might want to do is you might want to make sure that the correct answer that you indicated in your Word document actually followed in the import. And the way that you check that is to simply choose the Edit Question option for any question, and that's where you can check to see if the correct answer has followed. In this case, what is the name of your dog? Um, we chose dog as the correct answer for that question. And as you can tell, um, on choice three, dog is the choice, and the grade for that is 100%, so that would be the correct answer for that question. You can do that with all of the questions that you've uploaded. If you check a few, they're probably all good. And so I'm going to choose save. And once I do that, when I go back to my course, my quiz is there. And if I click it, I can attempt the quiz now. And there are all of my questions.